Next up, we got Bree. She's a 25-year-old sports reporter from Grants Pass, Oregon, and I'm giving her the Peyton Manning Award for most likely to recognize complex blitz packages thrown at Ari night one in the mansion. Wow! Now, what Man. I mean by... I know, I'm in a John Gruden mode right now. I'm very intense. <laughs> I might not be able to get out of it. How much tape have you watched on Bree? <laughs> An insane amount of tape. <laughs> well, basically what I'm saying here is that a lot of the contestants are going to be throwing themselves and attacking yeah. Ari night one, right? Yeah. Trying to get that FaceTime early. She's going to be at the line. She's going to be reading what the schemes are. Mm, yeah. Are people punching themselves? Are people uh, exhausting themselves a little too early? That's is right. there a prize out there? Is there going to be a seam out there where I'm going to be able to tackle him, get his attention? That's right. In her cast bio, she says that she would have been a great quarterback. Tonight, right? or the night one, we're going to be able to see. That's is right. That true? We're going to put the money where the mouth is here, exactly. and we're going to see whether or not that's possible. Don't uh, let me down, Bree. I gave you the Peyton Manning Award, <laughs> and I'm not going to repeat why it's the Peyton Manning that's Award. That's right, man. Uh, but I got to say, hey, if there's one thing that we know about dudes, <laughs> it's that dudes friggin' love a chick that can talk sports. Am I oh right, Oh, my God. Am how, I right, dude? How quickly is Ari going to bust out the, you know I'm an athlete, too, right? Oh, God. Like, dude, you drive trucks. You're yeah, yeah seriously. <laughs> but uh, I do think that Ari is just kind of a bonehead enough yeah, to yeah. where he's going to be like, man, she likes sports? That's hot. Dude, it's if, so hot. If she likes beers, too, <laughs> his head's going to explode. <laughs> but hey, man, we both agree that this is going to be a girl that's one to watch. I think she's sticking around for a long time. I think she's going to go far, yeah. honestly. And this isn't yeah. just Pacific Northwest love. She's the only one for the Pacific Northwest. I really think she has a chance here. Up next, we got Brittany J, a 27-year-old marketing manager from San Diego, California. And the award that we're giving her tonight is highest Snapchat score. Mm, that sounds good. Yeah, that's right. Because you think about Snapchat, you remember Snapchat is the place where shit just goes uh, down. You can text your best friend's mans mm -hmm. a picture of you know what. That's right. And very famously, it is where the Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian feud came to a head and absolutely exploded. <laughs> That's right. So this is the landscape of where shit goes down. Yeah, you can be as mean as you want, and there's no proof. Exactly. <laughs> it's gone after 24 it's hours. It's genius in, very, in many ways. Exactly. So the reason we got this is because I think she's going to start a little slow, but I think she's going to end up being kind of an instigator role, mm, okay. and she's going to kind of fan the fire a little bit. I don't know. That's just my theory, and I don't know if it has to do with the hidden messages in her eyebrows that are the same shape as devil horns. Maybe that has something to do with I it. I thought, well, okay. I, I'm going to say we should really look and see what she does. Yeah. That was a lazy Taylor Swift <laughs> reference, but I, I stand behind it. <laughs> okay, well, so one of the things that uh, she mentions, too, is that she's impressed by small romantic gestures. Cool. Which bodes well for Ari's season, because I don't think Ari's going to be a super romantic guy. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it bodes well for us once she gets eliminated from the show. Also, that too. <laughs> Up next, we got Brittany T. She's a 30-year-old tech recruiter from Columbia, South Carolina. Yep. And she's going to get the most coveted award in the <laughs> for any millennial to receive. That's right. She's getting the Avocado Toast Award for most millennial contestant, and I am thrilled to give it to her That's right. as a fellow millennial. <laughs> now, you might be thinking, 30, isn't that a little old for millennial? No. Nope. Uh -uh -uh. It goes from like age 21 now to age 35. Yeah, I think right early now. 1980s is kind of the cutoff, right? Yeah. So she, it, right now, now, she is a tech recruiter, as I mentioned, very millennial. Uh, she loves sushi, ramen, and poke bowls. Come <laughs> on. That is That's like chum right. in the water for yeah, millennials. The trifecta of millennials right there. Honestly, the only thing missing is avocado toast. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and the other thing is, is she's in student debt. Very millennial. <laughs> That's right. Something you and I can both relate to a little bit. There. And you know what? My heart breaks for her because she, uh, for all the, the reasons I just mentioned, she's very millennial. So am I. Uh, so I'm rooting for her. Unfortunately, I don't think she's going to go far, but I, I, I'm rooting for you, Brittany T. That's right. Next up, we got Caroline. Okay. Outcast reference? Yep, sure yeah. is. Okay. Sure I got my Andre 3K bandana on right now, so it That's fits. Right, man. That's good. Uh, anyways, Caroline is a 26-year-old realtor from Halston, Massachusetts, and she gets perhaps the most prestigious award of the bunch. I'm going to eliminate perhaps from that, because this is <laughs> yeah. definitely the most prestigious. Probably is, yeah. That's right. We're giving her the award for future Two Bros of Some Brick guests. Congratulations, Caroline. That's now, right. unfortunately, this means you do not win at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because typically speaking, we get the people on our show that are underappreciated yes. on their respective yes. season, right? Yes. Whoever's running that show, clearly too much of a dumbass to pick them. <laughs> yes. And uh, shout out, Rachel. We do still watch <laughs> you on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But usually people who win The Bachelor take themselves pretty seriously mm -hmm. and uh, lack a general sense of humor. Yeah, and you're not getting that vibe if you look at her contestant no, vibe, right? No. She's got, as far as pets are concerned, she's got a plant named Phil. Uh, she enjoys... 
uh, singing Celine Dion in the car. So kooky. Yeah, that's right. Clearly somebody that is down to make fun of themselves yes. and have a good time, but also somebody that I don't think Ari is going to appreciate. No, but their destiny is to end up on YouTube in a video with two random guys <laughs> who maybe generate a thousand views. So maybe. congratulations, Caroline. Congratulations. All right, next up we got Chelsea. She's a 29-year-old real estate executive assistant mm -hmm. uh, from South Portland, Maine. Right. Uh, now, she's going to get the Rand McNally Award for someone who definitely, definitely understands how world geography works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear the explanation for this one, man. You don't think our viewers automatically know who Rand McNally is? <laughs> the maker of, uh, uh, like, first and second grade atlases? I No, I don't, actually. Okay, let's... well, as I said, <laughs> they make first and second grade atlases. Uh, that's usually when people understand the difference between city and country. Mm -hmm. And the reason I bring that up is because... She was asked a question of her favorite non-U.S. city for a romantic destination, and she gave the answer of France, <laughs> which is definitely not a city, but also definitely didn't make me mad. Well, I think to be fair, if you look at it, she says, take this girl to France, so probably was implying that it could be any city in France. You know what? Right? I thought about that because I did want to give her a break, mm -hmm. but... France is a big country. Yes. <laughs> it would be like saying, let's go on a romantic destination to California. Right. Because it definitely matters if you mean Napa Valley or if you mean Bakersfield. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's she's got to she's got to relook the answer she gave to that question. That's that's a good point, man. Uh, only thing I got to add to that is that uh, she does share a striking resemblance to our friend Olivia from Ben Season. Mm. Uh, so I don't really know what that means, but just worth <laughs> noting. I was gonna say I have no I have no feel for where she's gonna finish at the end of this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But. Man, learn the difference between a, a city and a country, please. <laughs> All right, next we have Jacqueline, a 26-year-old research coordinator from Morgantown, West Virginia. And if you're familiar with us at all, we are big knee-jerk reaction guys. <laughs> we have strong opinions, and we have strong opinions fast. Oh, yeah, like a four- or five-part video series about <laughs> Bachelor previews, right? We've been pouring <laughs> over her profile for the better part of two and a half days, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty I much. I still don't know how I feel about her. Well, see, and that's what I think is one of the most fascinating things, right? Is yeah. that this girl, there's so much to this girl that I just don't think she's really showing right off the bat, right, right. right? So anyways, we got her the award for most questionable browser search history. Oh my god, I'd <laughs> love to get my hands on her browser search history. Because I think that there's some stuff that's kind of hidden, buried, that uh, we might or might not find out about her. So anyways, one thing you gotta know is that uh, she is a working on a PhD. Yeah. Uh, another thing about her is that she's a history buff. Mm -hmm. um, and... I don't know this for sure, but she looks like she probably enjoys a good puzzle, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, she's kind of buttoned up, kind of reserved, although we found a nice little Princess Leia photo of her from social media that shows, yeah, eh, maybe there's a little bit more to her, right? I, well, honestly, like all the photos that we had seen of her, she had seen like she just looks as a normal look to her, and yeah. then she has that photo, and you all of a, see, all of a sudden you have freckles that yeah. you're seeing for the first time. So exactly. There's a lot there that like symbolically you think like, there's more than meets the eye. That's right. Well, and the three people that she wants to have lunch with, they're all dead. So, I don't know. I mean, what that what that says. If she... Spe she didn't specify whether it's present day or not. Maybe she wanted to have lunch with three corpses. Yeah, that's right. Could be. So, anyways, we're going to see what exactly Jacqueline is all about. And uh, I guess we'll see where she finishes. I have the least feel for, for Jacqueline as yeah. where she's going to finish. All right, next up we got Jenna. She is a 28-year-old uh, social media manager from Upland, Indiana. Mm -hmm. uh, gotta say, kind of snoozed through this profile. Uh, <laughs> had trouble coming up with a creative award to give her because yeah. the only two things that stood out was that she's a social media manager, mm -hmm. which anyone at the age of 28 is basically a social media manager at the right. very least on the side. That's right. And she likes the movie Taken. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to give her the award for least particular set of skills. Oh, nice. And yeah. uh, I think she's going to get eliminated in that one. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, it sounds like you're not too high on her prospects for this season. Hell no. But if she wants to come on to the bros and some bread, I'm willing to change my mind. <laughs> okay, next up we got Jenny, who is a 25-year-old graphic designer from Northbrook, Illinois. And uh, I gotta be honest, man, my heart is racing a little bit as I do this intro because... Uh, is it the 16 ounces of Red Bull you just said? <laughs> <laughs> Could might, that be it? That might have something to do with okay. it. It might also be because every season, I fall pretty hard for at least one girl, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Last season it was Sarah. Two seasons ago it was Amanda. And... Uh, wait, uh, who was it Rachel's season? No. <laughs> it, was, well, it was Alex, let's be honest. All right, it was yeah, Alex. me too. Uh, but this season, it is Jenny, man. Mm. I am head over heels in love with Jenny already. Wow, Forrest Gump over here. That, that's right. 
<laughs> Swish. But we are giving her the Lola Bunny Stop and Stare Award. Mm -hmm. uh, now we get that Lola Bunny reference from her cast bio where she says if she could be any fictional character, it would be Lola Bunny because she good at sports and keeps up with yeah. the boys. Yeah. Uh, also a Crazy Stupid Love fan, and as somebody who also loves Crazy Stupid Love, I gotta say, she's the perfect combination of sexy and cute in my book. Wow. So that's all I'm saying, man. Killer reference. That's right. Uh, I gotta say, so far we've agreed pretty much on every single candidate. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna stray away from you on this one. I, I recognize that her answers were well done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, and I, the Lola Bunny thing, her, she's like a decoy, basically, in the yeah. Bugs Bunny world. She gets yeah. people to stop and like, bleh, while everybody, like, races past. That's right. Or, you know? That's right. Uh, but I'm, she just doesn't do it for me for some reason. All right, man. Hey, well, I hey. think I explain myself pretty well there. <laughs> hey, man, that's least, uh, less competition for me. So, I, I do appreciate you calling me competition. <laughs> that, that does make me feel better. Well, speaking of competition, I also think Ari, not really going to be competition here, because while I think that she's going to go far-ish, don't think she's going to win. Oh, so. okay. So your hopes of getting her on Two Bros and Some Brick are pretty good. Pretty high. Excellent. We'll see. All right. We'll see.